over here. Ready? And we are reunited, and it's so wonderful. <laughs> Vanilla, we gotta get back. We gotta get back to Daggerfell. There should be a ship to take us, don't you think? And the Prophet, and the Prophet, and, and Lyra's Titanborn, and Cold Harbor, and Molag Ball, and... Oh my god, we were killed. Ugh. Let's go find a way back. Let's go get home. Maybe this way, I guess? I'm sure one of these ships can give us passage. Back to Daggerfall. Down here, do you think? There's a boat man. Alright, here we go. Let's try this guy. Hello. How may I serve? Can you arrange passage for it us? It depends where you need to go. This is a working ship. We don't traverse all of Tamriel Seas. Okay, well, we're looking to get Have home. Have you been to Betnik? I can get you no, there in no, one piece. No, no, no. Not Daggerfall. Betnik. You shall yes, find there yes. everything you need, and then some. Daggerfall, There have been a right? few storms Vanilla. along the way, but nothing we can't handle. Let us pray our charts are current. Okay, Daggerfall, please. Ooh. Grinella, I don't see you. I went to Daggerfall. There you are. Okay. Where are we? Let's check out this map and see. Daggerfall. Looks like we want to go... Okay, so here we are. I'm, I'm showing the map of Daggerfall. Or, I'm sorry, the map of Glen Umbra. Whoops, sorry. So here's the map of Glenumbra. It's long. And we are in Daggerfall, which is right where you see us. And we want to go down to the bottom of Daggerfell towards the other port where we arrived after leaving. After leaving Betnik with Captain Captain uh, Kaylee, so we were supposed to talk to a Sir Lannis Sheldon. I bet you that's where we'll find him. So we should probably head that way. Do you think? Okay. Okay. Then here we go. Get off of this wharf. <laughs> All right, we're starting the harborage. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> that happened quick. So, uh, you know, I need to, should I say a little bit about the harbor, harbonage? Let me get that. Um, yeah, this is a special quest. Um, the Prophet contacted us through a magical projection. He asked us to seek out a place called the Harborage where he has taken refuge. We should go to him and ensure that he is safe. The Prophet told us to seek him out in a place called the Harborage. We should seek him out this place and speak to him. So we are going to find, we're going to go to the Harborage and... Uh, it's not too far from where we are. In fact, it's down by where we were going. So we'll just keep heading in that direction. You see it, Brunala? Okay. 
All right, so we can mount up, I think, and ride through the town. Get off my horse. There we go. Okay. I know. This isn't a good time. Look at there's a lot of guild traders here. Good place to go shopping when we need to. Are you hungry? <laughs> Brunella, we could find a provisioners. I think right now we should just do the harbor harborage um, instead of anything else. Because that's going to whisk us around for a little bit. And that's part of the original story quest. Right now I'm just sharing information. Okay. Well, boy, it's a busy, it's a busy Did city. You come here for crafting certification. Wow. Oh, a dog. Did you see that dog? It ran by us. Hmm. I think there's a sky crystal right out here, a sky shard right out here. Do you see that? I think it's part of this city, Glenumbra, or Daggerfell. There it is. Can we go get it? Can we go get it before we? Okay. Yay! Yes, yes, my vision yay, 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 yay. true. You are the one my <laughs> mistress seeks. Yeah, I have a, a few to do, too. Um, now, there's... where? How much farther do we have to go? I guess it's down over here. It's off, it's off trail. We have to go down. I remember... We do? Are you sure? It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's outside of the city walls, down by the river. It's down. Uh, I, I, it's down here. Yeah. I think. I think we could ride there probably. That's all right. But maybe you're right. I don't know. I, it's up above us. We should be able to get up above us, though. Here it is. Yeah, it's going to be right down in this area. Right here. I found it. Okay. Oh, it's solo, you know. So we're going to be doing this a little separately. So I don't know what you want to do. Do we want to do it? Okay, so so this we need to talk about this for a moment. This this is solo. And I don't know if while we're in there it's solo and then when we come out that's all we can do is just check.
I'm going to stand back here because that's a silly person. Um, so, what do you think? I'm going to look at that mountain there and face the opposite way, so... Oops, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. So we have to make a decision. Um, the Harbonage, when we go into the Harbonage to talk with the Prophet, it, it's going to put us solo, separate. So I'm curious to find out if when we come back out, if um, we'll be... No, because you go on, you go on a quest once you're in there. They send you through a portal. That's the problem. But we want to do this together, even if we are solo. It just means, unfortunately, mm, what do you want to do? All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So, exactly. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go in here and do this together. This is the prophet. Mm, leaving him blind and almost... He had a harrowing experience which aged and diminished him. All right, so we have to find the, we have to find the prophet and talk to him. This is beautiful, actually, down in here. Mm. And lots of spider webs. There he is. There he is. I found I him. I hear Did you familiar find him? footfalls. Come closer, Vestige. Okay. Hello, prophet. Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried-up husk like myself could hope for. How did you find it? Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. When you first appeared to, to me in Cold Harbor, you spoke of my destiny. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. A history lesson? Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Okay, and Brunella is walking this same path with me. All right. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Okay. Um, going in to follow the prophet. Wow. Follow me, Vestige, and I'm learn following. of the events that precipitated our current crisis. Oh, this is how it all happened. Oh, I don't even... Oh, we're back My in Cold Harbor. My part of the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. Back in Cold Harbor. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. Yes, the Elder Scrolls. <gasps> the Scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. Um, the prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid, living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. What does that have to do with us? I only us? know that you are important, Vestige. The Scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. 
Who are the five companions? The five companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the dragon god, to accept their leader as one of the dragonborn. Dragonborn? The dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true dragonborn could ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. Who was the leader? Baron Aquilarius, the son of a Colobian duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varon was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. Dragonborn. The dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true dragonborn could ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. Thank you. I wanted to make sure I heard you correctly. Please go on. You have already heard enough babbling from this old oh. blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. I'm going to learn about the, first the five companion, companions. Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, <gasps> was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abnathan. A powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the traitor, the King of Worms, a powerful necromancer and your executioner. <gasps> you! You! Uh. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost Amulet of Kings. How could the Amulet of Kings turn Varen into Many one of Marco the Dragonborn? Marco convinced Varen that the Amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragonfires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the Dragonborn. Why did Varen want to be By Dragonborn? By tradition, only the Dragonborn can lay claim to the Ruby Throne and rule as the one true Emperor by divine right. Varen conquered mm. Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became Dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Tell me, please, about the other companions. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. Who would you like to know more about? Oh, please, tell us about Lyris Titanborn. She's yes. a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north, and it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Varen yes. chose her for her strength and her loyalty to be his personal bodyguard. And tell me about Sai Sahan. Sai Sahan came from a long line of Red Guard Swordmaster nobles. He was the leader of the Dragon Guard, the security detail of Varen and the Elder Council. While Lyris was Varen's bodyguard, Sai was charged with protecting the entire group. And what about Abner the Thorn? The are one of the most influential families in Cyrodiil. Abner, mm. their patriarch, is the leader of the Elder Council a powerful battle mage and a shrewd politician. With his counsel, Varen was able to seize the Imperial throne years before. I've heard enough about these three. Dare I ask, what about Manny Marco? Manny Marco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Varen to perform the ritual you are about to witness. Oh, what happened when they performed the ritual? Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known.
Okay, here, here they is. come. The Dragonfire Brazier. Manimarco, you certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a Oh, the ritual begins. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself dragonborn. Oh, oh what's happening to him? Then, oh, what's Aquarius, going on? You are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits oh. asunder. <gasps> What's happening? The sky is opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! Oh. He killed this them all. He happen. killed them all. What's the meaning of this? Manny Marco, what have you done? Gullible fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Moloch Baal, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh! Forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! <sighs> Prophet. The ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion, allowing Manamarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the dark anchors and initiate the plane melt. What went wrong? Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nern. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel would be protected from the Daedra. And what happened next? Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave so Molog nice. Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nan from their hosts. What happened to the other companions? Varan was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Baal. And what about Abner Tharn and Manny Marco? Tharn remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Clibio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Manimarco and his worm cult. How did you end up in Cold When Harbor? I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manimarco got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. They saw you as a threat. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Yes, of course. I'm following the prophet. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierced the torn veil and seek to draw <gasps> Nair into the depths of Cold Harbor. These terrible engines of destruction have been appearing all throughout the uh. What are those? Brutality and domination is successful. He will merge our world and his own in a terrible plane mill. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. Uh. And so it falls to us, Vistage, 
We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? Yes, I I'm ready to go back. Brunella, are you ready to go back? As you say. Oh. oh, Prophet. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. Boy, you've given us a lot to think there about. There is so much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. So what's our next move? We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris Titanborn. Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. What should we do in the meantime? Minamarco's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. We'll do what we can do. Forgive me. Bringing you into my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. Yes. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the bookshelf and see what else is here real quick. Yes. There's a backpack. It looks like that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna come out. Brunella, so much to think about. So much is ahead of us now. Everything is swirling around me. I think I need to relax for a minute and collect my thoughts and consider everything the Prophet has shown us and said to us. So, at this time, if it's okay with you, I'm going to go lay down underneath a tree is that okay? Okay. Till next time. <laughs>